What's going on everybody? Twisted Jenny back with a different TEW series. And hopefully this one I can at least make it a month into without either quitting, losing interest, or just losing the save file. Because previous series I either lost interest or I lost the save file, or just something in general happened to stop the series. Hopefully this one is different. And I can actually get somewhere with this series. But basically, I'm taking uh, a page out of Cope Stop City's book, and I'm going to do my own ECW series. Um, I'm not necessarily going to save ECW, because as you can see, well, all the way back in 1997, this is back maybe a little before ECW's Prime. I I'd say ECW's Prime was back in 1998, 1999, and, you know, maybe 2000. Going, you know, going past that, though, they were having some problems with uh, broadcasting, getting the product out, etc., etc. But yeah, well, all the way back in late 1997, after the Montreal Screwjob, as, as a matter of fact, that's actually the data that I'm using, the uh, Montreal Screwjob Aftermath. Uh, so we are set in December 1997, right after the Screwjob. And uh, it's a good thing we're not WWE, or, well, at the time WWF, but it's a good it's a good thing we're not WWF or WCW at the time, because back then backstage was toxic. Uh, if 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 I don't leave this game right now and start up a new WCW game, I have never seen a backstage rating so low. <laughs> like it's in the twenties, which is bad. Considering uh, usually when I start up a uh, local to global game, I started with with my backstage at around fifty or sixty. And that's on a bad game. Um, but yeah, we're here at Extreme Championship Wrestling playing as Paul Heyman. Uh, right now, ECW is set regional. That can change very fast. Uh, money is 500 grand, which for ECW is a lot. But, you know, then again, this is 1997. Uh, momentum is 58. No, oh, Prestige is 58. Momentum is 77. And on next show is ECW Hardcore TV, which is in two days. Uh, that I changed before I started the video. I went over to broadcasting. Uh, I went over to go ahead and see if I could change what channels we were shown on. Because, as you can see, you know, very small in the British Isles. Tri-State, very small. And the Southeast, very small. So we're not getting that much, you know, TV time. We're not really being seen. Uh, you know, in America, it's only the tri-state and southeast that are getting ECW. Which, actually, if you, if, honestly, to me, that's inaccurate. Um, because ECW, as I know, back at the time, was shown on, you know, like, at least in, like, one region. This really isn't, this is, like, a few parts of America. But, <coughs> it's cool, though. Uh, British Isles is getting, like, m more exposure than America is, which, you know, it's like, how, why? Uh, Request TV is our pay-per-view deal. That's cool. We're getting a... See, yeah, this is where, like, all, all of, uh, all of America can see us. Only problem I see is, is realistically, if you don't show your product in one region of America, or, say, Canada, uh, by the way, I just noticed that Canada... If you don't show your product to like a place like Canada, how do you expect them to buy your pay-per-views if they don't know about you? That that's just my thing, but it's cool. But again, back to uh, what I was saying. Uh, this was held on. Uh, this was to be held on Saturdays, but the thing is, pay-per-views are also held on Saturdays. So to me, that doesn't make sense. It's like you know, Sunday night heat. You, you know, you, you're gonna have heat then the pay-per-view. No. So I moved it up to Wednesday, uh, Wednesdays because. As well as I know of in this data, nothing happens on Wednesdays. It's mainly uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I was going to move it to Friday, but I was like, eh, no, Wednesday. Um, yeah. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, you're welcome for the music in the background, by the way. Uh, copyright phrase, so hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. Um, what are we doing? Let's just check backstage. You see, yeah, ECW, 85, which compared to WWF and WCW at the time, is just amazing. Uh, um, Alright, backstage rules are having a positive effect, so we don't need to change backstage rules. 
Uh, anyone out? Yeah, Pitbull's out, but that's not gonna matter because I'm gonna get rid of Pitbull. I mean, I, I kind of have a good idea of who I'm getting rid of and who I'm keeping. Um, before we do anything in management, let's, let's just go to creative and see what we need to change. Uh, so if we have any storylines, we do. Uh, Chris Candido and Jerry Lynn. Uh, Shane Douglas and Batman Bigelow. And something going on with Doug, Phil, uh, RVD, and Tommy Dreamer. So, yeah. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, <coughs> product wise, there are a few changes. I am feeling a bit sick, so excuse that. There are a few technical changes, so none, none. Um,. Uh, medium, 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 uh, yeah, I want to at least drop these down some, because if I do something with, uh, like, these settings, Injuries are going to happen a lot, and that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, Alright. Uh, low. Sponsorships is something I'm trying to get right now. Oh, yeah, we want to put that to none. So this is something I don't really want. Medium, low, yeah, I'm just trying to get, like, s some sponsorship. Uh, low, see, we went from ex extremely tough to very tough now, so that's good. It's, yeah, it's a solid close setting. I'm trying to, medium, <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to scratch all that. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to get these back. Alright. So, none, none. Hopefully, I can put this to none. Because I'm not good with, like, the whole sex appeal angle things. Medium's good. Put you down to medium, too. Put you down to low. Put you down to medium. Put you up to medium. Put you up to low. Put you up to medium. Uh. <clears throat> so yeah, well, this is a very tough now. That's the thing. Uh, can I try heavy? Still a very tough. Even if we put in that key feature, sponsorship is still gonna be very, uh, very tough to handle. <coughs> so I'm gonna just keep it in a medium. I'm gonna put this in medium. Oh, that changes. Um, see, now it's just a quite tough, so that's good. Alright, what if we put these at low? Sweet! We are now favorable to get sponsorships. Amazing. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, there we go. And hopefully I can make these changes without alienating what little fans we actually have. And let me see if I can bring this down to at least 50-50. Sweet. Uh, let me push it. See if we can get this down to 45-45. Okay. <laughs> I think 45-45 is good. Um, uh, you know, if we can. Yeah, we can do that. So that's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. 
Can we do this? Risk is low, then what is a lot for the company? Damn it. Uh, very low? No. Low? No. Uh, the greatest is probably so great or any of the focus defense. Okay, it, it's, it's gonna be wealthy because what fans do we actually have right now? Uh, it's, I mean, w we're only regional. It's not like it's really gonna affect anything. I mean, it didn't do anything. As far as, I've, as far as I see. Yeah. Didn't affect it much. Uh, so product's good. Now, who who's gonna stand who's gonna be released? Um, I was no stand. Uh, basically, you know, it, it's not not only is, is it about gold, but like, can they do anything else? Is is what I'm looking at. Uh, plus, you know, who are they in the business? So, so I was no stand. Alex Ron isn't that good, but from what I can tell, he's part of a pretty good team with Balls Mahoney. So I, I, I can do something with them. Plus, you know, reputation rise, thoroughly good. Ben Bigelow is, is on a written deal, so even if I want to get rid of him, which I do, I can't. <laughs> uh, Big Dick Dudley we're keeping. We're keeping all the Dudleys. We're keeping uh, Bill Al Alfonso. Uh, Brockus, I don't know who he is. Plus, you know, he's pretty average. Uh, no, 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 it's gonna get rid of him. Obviously, we're gonna keep Bubba Ray Dudley. Uh, Chastity, who are you, man? Okay, just incredible. Uh, yeah. Um, Chris Can Candido is staying. Well, he's on her end anyway, so he can't get rid of him even if he wanted to. Chris Chetty, we're getting rid of. Never mind. Taz wants to keep him. Danny Dur wait, uh, he's good in the ring, but he's an opener, so it doesn't matter how good he is, it's going to be difficult as hell to push him up to God. Uh, especially with what I have planned to. Uh, Darren Drozdov. Not seeing much from this guy. Plus, if he's like that unpopular where he doesn't have a photo. Uh, Doug we're keeping, Devon we're keeping, Francine, who are you managing? You can imagine anybody? I don't need you then. <laughs> um, we're keeping Gabe. Oh no, you read it, and I thought you, 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 yeah, you're a manager. Jason Knight. Are we keeping Jason Knight? No, we are not. Jerry Lynn. Why don't you have a photo? Let me fix that. Come on, load. Come on! Oh. This game's been pretty slow lately for some reason. Like, it's not just my computer in general, it's not. It's, uh, oh, choices. Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, it, it's just TEW itself. Uh, it's just slow. Don't know why. I'd I, I, I like to know why, but. Uh, Jerry's Dow's obviously with Keeping. Keeping all reps. John Cronus, uh, no, you're done in ECW. We'll keep Incredible and Storm to really get in the ring. We'll keep in, uh, Lil Guido and I think it's Tracy, yeah. We'll keep in this guy, Mikey Riprack. Um, I was gonna get rid of him, but what I've been told by other people, like, he was kind of the face of ECW, which, you know, the whole time I've watched ECW, I always thought it was Tommy Dreamer and Bob Van Dam. Like, I really didn't pay attention to Mikey Ripper, nor was he, you know, really in the main event. Like, he's a mid-carder now, so. But, uh, I don't know, he kind of looks like he could be a Sami Zayn. Um... Maybe I could book him to be like a Sami Zayn-ish. Is that what it's it? Zayn-ish? Of ECW. 
I'll keep them for now to see what I can do with them. If I can't do much, yeah, it's cool. Uh, New Jack. Uh, you see, I'm a big New Jack fan. The thing with New Jack is he mainly does hardcore stuff, so I can't put him in a legit storyline. Because then every match would have to be like a high risk match. Because uh, otherwise, if I put him in a normal match, at most he's going to get a D. Uh, I mean, you know, for all my matches to be in the season Bs, with the exception of the ones that are obviously going to, you know, get the occasional E and D. Um, we're going to give it a new jack. Uh, Paul Heyman, obviously, keeping. Phil Fawn, keeping. Um, uh, both pit bulls, we are letting go. Uh, what were we? Roadkill, you're gone. I really don't want to, you know, open or send enhancement talent. I'll, at the least, you know, lower mid. Uh, oh, wait, what was I? Oh, yeah. Rob Van Dam, well, he, he's on a win, so. Uh, Sabu, keeping. Shane Douglas, keeping. Spike Dudley, keeping. Steadily Dudley, keeping. Taz, keeping. Blue Mini, yeah, dude. Uh, the Blue Bolt Order is dead. <laughs> I probably just lost a few subscribers from that, but I mean, I was never a big fan. Plus, they don't fit in what I'm trying to do. Uh, Sa that, that is called Sandman Taboo? Uh, Sandman Stain, Tommy Drummer Stain, Tommy Rich Stain, and Tracy Stain. Uh, Calling below. Alright, we gotta fix that then. There you go. Well, it cost me 10,000. Sally Dolly is a manager without any clients. We gotta fix that. Um, is there any. Yeah, I'll give him the big dick. Stelly and big dick. Alright, that's good. Um. Who's the champions and do we need a... Uh, yeah, I don't it's that. <laughs> the infrared glob is a belt. Um, there we go. Um... Um, all right, lost my screen of thought. All right, all oh, those are done, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, any teams you need to get rid of? Candido and Storm stay, they stay, Dully stay, FBI stay, they stay, and they stay. All right, so all the team stays. Uh, they stay, they stay, they stay. They're not really a stable per se, so let move them. Yeah. Uh, creative meaning. Let's see who did a focus on. Bam and Big Lobe, screw you. Uh, Rob Van Dam, Shane Douglas, Taz, and Sabu, which, you know, that's what I plan on doing with Rob Van Dam and Sabu. Uh, Shane and Taz. Chess Incredible, gonna give him a push. Uh, maybe give these. Not these guys, these guys are getting pretty old. Um, Spike Dully, maybe. Robin Dan's pretty good on the mic, so is Douglas, Sam, and Taz. Who's like really good on the ring? Robin Dan, Sabu, Douglas, Kenny, and Lynn. Lance, Douglas, Lynn, Snow, and Dreamo. Uh, he's hot, they're hot. Who's not? No one's not. Any hidden gems we need to sign? Ron Killings, Rikishi, Homicide, James Storm, and Nova. Oh, maybe, maybe I could sign him. Um. What am I looking at right now as, like, wages? 700, 500, 400. You see, the thing is, he's like paper prints. Um. I, I guess we'll see, like, if we lose, I'll 
gain money after the first show, which is the two days. Um, so starting out, I'm not going to sign anybody until after the first show. And then after the first show, depending on how much money we get from the episode, then I, you know, I might sign uh, one or two people, gi give or take, you know, three, four or five people. F five at the most. Um, what pay reviews are coming up? Charge. Alright, uh, give it a view. Uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna get, give it a view, and we can place you with that. It's a Saturday, before December. Active, annual. Um,. Alright, I have an idea of what I want to do. You guys watching, you're probably going to like ask, like, what the hell are you doing? You'll see. Uh, basically, after watching some NXT, uh, I'm kind of digging the whole, like, not having an event every month. Like, you know, making it kind of like a special thing. Like, you know, takeovers are actually a special thing. So, what I'm thinking is, uh, that's how this is going to be November, that's June, um, so between June and November, it's July, August, September, October, come on, then it's December, oh yeah, wait, 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 it's yeah, July, August, September, October, November, there. so five months between each, um, Means December, January, February, March, April. And yeah, okay. Um, Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, so March. Excuse me, guys. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so March, and then April, May, June, July, I think something in July. Alright, scratch that, we're getting rid of this too, and we're going to add a July paper review. <coughs> what to review yet, but <laughs> I like crossing the lines again. We're gonna go with, uh, crossing the lines again. Make this uh, three. Yeah, make this a three-hour show. So basically, we're just we're basically just having a pay-per-view every four months. Uh, what I'm thinking is every TV show is going to be one hour. Then we're going to have a two-hour special every Saturday at the end of each month. Uh, kind of like, you know, like kind of like a one-night only thing that uh, TNA does. Basically, that's going to be one, uh, uh, every one night only's in between these are going to be two. Uh, these two are going to be three, but because November 2 remembers the season finale and all that good stuff, like, it's the big deal, uh, we're going to make this, uh, four hours long. So, yeah. Um... So, yeah, that's good. Well, right now, December, so we just now, you know, got to this, so we're not going to have, like, the next one until March. Um, Alright, I think that's it. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead. 
simulate these two days and uh, actually depending on how long I've been recording I um, yeah uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video uh, simulate the two days and I will see you guys in part two of booking ECW till then guys what's up guys so just a little update to put at the end of uh, the previous video that I just recorded um WWF, just as they did in real life, made a contract over to Al Snow. So anything that I that I had planned for Al Snow completely out the window. Um so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh take care of this oh, I crook. But you know, it's cool because now it's seven hundred and appearance that I don't have to pay. It's it's seven hundred that I can that I can give to somebody else, say CM Punk or uh, Kevin Steen. Well, when they debut, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was a little update to put at the end of this video. There, guys. Part two coming up. I will see you when that happens.